Welcome back to CVC Interviews. My name is Joyce Vaudre from Vernon. And one of the many things I get to do here as a volunteer, because I like to make TV, not just watch it, is talking to people in the community that make things better all around. Today I'm talking with Alexis about her recent, um, a her recent crowning of Miss Tallinn County. And Alexis has a platform that is considered a, a community service initiative that is uh, very close to my heart. So please welcome Miss Tallinn County. Alexis, hi. Hi. So glad you could come here today. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. So now, I love talking to people that participate in pageants because there are so many cool things that, that most people don't understand. And Tell me, what prompted you to become um, someone involved with pageants? I got very interested in pageants as I moved to a new dance studio this season. And a lot of the girls at my dance studio have been in pageants for so many years. And I was able to learn from them all the benefits and be able to become a pageant girl myself, which has been very exciting. That's pretty much what I've been hearing. So. My business partner is also a pageant queen, so I, I can really appreciate that. Which dance studio was this? I moved to Triple Threat Dance Company. It's in Wolka, Connecticut. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I'm a dance mom, so I did 15 years on the dance circuit. I can appreciate... I, I do appreciate it because I, I strongly believe that it helps to instill so many different um, confidence boosters. Yes. So what's been one of your favorite aspects of being involved with pageants? I say definitely comp confidence is definitely one of them. I have been able to learn how to express myself in some ways that words can't. I've also learned to have so much trust in my teammates and also trust in myself to be able to rely on all of my training and all that I've worked for when I get on stage. Wonderful. And what was that like being on stage? It's definitely a feeling that you don't experience otherwise. It's just kind of freeing to be able to showcase what you've been working on and showcase your passion on stage for an audience. Yeah, and, and I've noticed being kind of in the industry that nothing beats that live energy, that electricity that's in the air. Yes. Because I, I do a lot of self-taping and things in the acting industry, but nothing beats a live performance. No. Definitely. So tell me about... Uh, I, I, so you knew other people that were already in the pageant world, but what would you recommend to somebody who's not familiar with or doesn't know anybody? I would definitely say to reach out and try to find as many of the local organizations as you can because they have so many benefits. Like I didn't know how much it could teach me until I reached out and find, found those connections. Wonderful. And what's uh, in store for you? You and I were talking a few minutes ago about this summer. You have a lot of things happening. And by the time this story airs, there's going to be another pageant. Yes. And which one is that? The Miss Connecticut pageant. I'm competing for Miss Connecticut's teen with the Miss America organization. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank I'm you. I'm very excited for you. And, and this summer, you're doing um, a reading program. Yes. At one of my favorite places. <laughs> So tell me about what you're doing that has to do with your CSI. I'm hosting an event. The next one is July 11th. It's going to be at Rockville Public Library in Vernon. And I will be teaching them all different styles of dance, to hopefully get them interested in it, and maybe they want to pursue dance or maybe take a class in the future, just to get kids interested in dance because it has so many benefits to it. It does, it does. So now, um, I, I never really equated dance with the library, but there are two information sharing <laughs> things. Uh, if, if there's a parent or um, somebody out there that has a child that might be interested, what do they need to do and when is the event? The event is July 11th. It is at 2 o'clock and it's at the public library in Rockville. And it's free, completely free. All you have to do is show up. So whenever you can, maybe a few minutes late, but just get there and see what it's all about. Wonderful. That's wonderful. That's just great. I, I, I was at the library recently, and it just, it just reminded me. I, I, I didn't go for quite a while, obviously, with the pandemic going on. And it was just reminding me, like, what a peaceful place, informative, and I got all, this, all these things at my fingertips. It's wonderful. How did you get um, aligned with the library to be able to teach a class like that? One of the public schools actually showed me that the program at the library hosts different events. 
and they have a big room that we can use and it's a place where afterwards the kids can obviously look for books and they can meet other friends there and it can kind of be a community place for kids that then go to that class and say oh maybe I want to spend more time at the library as well. That's that ripple effect of, of introducing children and people to things they may not have tried before. Yes. And for the adults that are bringing the children there is free and easy parking at the library. Yes. <laughs> Something I'm always looking for. Exactly. <laughs> So uh, I, I love the idea that you got up on stage, you were, you were dancing, so you were a dancer and you've been on stage that way. What's the difference from being a performer as a dancer versus walking on stage as a, as a pageant uh, uh, participant? I feel like it's definitely going to be a different experience because I've never done pageants my entire life. I've never done a single pageant, so it's definitely going to be a new experience for me, but I hope I can definitely take what I've learned from being on stage with dance and then transform it into what I need to learn on stage for the pageant. Yes, yes. So um, when, you're at, when you're at school, do a lot of people ask you about it? Do they say, oh, I saw your picture in the paper or something? I'm actually not in school. I was homeschooled starting in 2020, mm -hmm. and I was able to graduate high school two years early. Wow. So I'm actually in college right now. Congratulations. Thank you. And which school is happy to have you? I'm going to Manchester Community College. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy for you for being able to push through that. It was, it was a tough time for a lot of people. So that's uh, kudos to you and your family. Thank you. Because it, it doesn't just take a village to raise a kid, but then to educate them. So uh, tell me something about when you're in uh, the, a pageant, and you show up, how does a, an average pageant, like what is the expectation for the performers? Do you, do you show that you can sing? Or, I would imagine you're dancing. Yes. Um, it, how do you pick your dance that you're going to do? Is it your favorite style? Like what is the process that, goes, that you go through? Talent is a big aspect of the pageant and my talent is dance. I'm going to be doing a lyrical dance, which is definitely a more emotional kind of dance because that's what I really love to do on stage but it's also going to incorporate different tricks and different aspects of dance that I've learned throughout the way. So it's really just a time to showcase all that you've learned and what's special about you. Yes, I, I, I remember um, I danced as a child and then going back with, um, my, with Amanda and, and seeing her and the lyrical was always one of my favorites. Yes. I felt that the dancers were able to really express themselves uh, mostly because it was usually a one, maybe two person dance. Yeah. Is that what you still do? Is it pretty much a lyrical is generally a, a I single? do lyrical groups as well throughout oh, okay. my studio, but my favorite thing I do this year is my lyrical solo. So that's what I'm going to be putting on stage. So you show up and you're going to say, you announce that this is, well, you let them know. You yes. have like a resume, <laughs> you're like this is what I'm going to be doing. And then what else do they do? Like how do they determine who does what when? And like what happens behind the scenes? At, we had an orientation a few months ago, and we were able to pick our order. I'm going eighth in the lineup, so I will be eighth for every category. We do a private interview, which is about nine minutes long. We do in closed doors, and then we also do a modeling aspects in our evening gown that we get to select, and then we also do a health and fitness portion where we come out and we do kind of just a walk in our fitness outfit mm -hmm. just to really advertise the Miss America Fit program that runs through Miss America. Oh, I, I wasn't aware Miss America Fit is, is part of, well, I, I guess you would have to be. Any performer, you really have to be fit. But <laughs> yes. um, it's kind of like with other showcases now, too, is like jeans and regular clothes are part of it, and it showcases you personally and, yeah, your walk. Um, how did you find learning to walk as a pageant person walking on a runway? Was it like, okay, lead off with this foot? Was it a... <laughs> different experience? It's definitely interesting. I feel like I still have a lot to work on just because it's so new, but it's definitely interesting to kind of step into that more modeling aspect and figure out how to walk and how to present yourself in a way that's fitting to you. I, I did find the model stance. That's a great one. That's a go-to. You're standing in line too, you know. <laughs> yes. You, it's a great, you get, you can relax on one leg. Yeah, Excellent. that's actually something that dance has taught me. It's taught me to be able to present myself in a way that looks good on me. Just because everybody is built differently and everybody has different aspects that look good on them and that really illuminate what they do well. So be able to find different poses and different ways to make yourself stand out in a crowd. And it's one of the things that I help people learn too is that depending on what is the intention of a photograph, the same as what is the intention of the walk. 
you could walk on stage as part of a dance troupe and you enter one way and exit, whereas if you walk onto the stage because you're in a pageant, versus same thing with photos, a headshot versus a model shot versus uh, an engagement photo, all different, <laughs> right? Yes. So I think that's wonderful. You're learning all these different all these different things. Uh, you're in college. What is it you'd like to do? I, you're so young. But what is it you would like to do after you graduate college? Well, I'll be graduating next next spring with my associate's degree, okay. which is the same time that I'm supposed to be graduating high school. Oh. So hopefully after that, my real passion is dance. I want to move to LA and I want to be in music videos and I want to be in shows and I want to tour with different artists. I really just want to get myself out there as soon as I can. And it, how, how do you see the, the pageant helping you with that? I feel like it's definitely helping me already in, with my local title. I can see how much I've learned and how much I have been taught to even just be a business partner and be able to be in a room with all these different people and learn from each other and be able to showcase myself. It's taught me a lot. I, I do find that that's very true, and uh, they train you for that interview piece too, don't they? Yes, definitely. Yeah, because it's interviewing is a skill set that the, it's not taught. No. And you have to go to other extracurricular activities to learn those skills. Yes. So that's a transferable skill no matter what you do in your life. So as someone dancing in a music video or being a professional dancer, you're going to need to have those skill sets. And I like that you're networking now, knowing that these are things you can do later. Yes. Uh, how do you see, oh, I'm sorry, the CSI, it's the Community Service Initiative? Yes. Okay. I, I did stop calling it a platform, <laughs> but only recently. And what are some of the things that the people that are watching this now can do to support your CSI? I think right now I'm just trying to grow what I'm doing. I'm looking to host maybe bigger events and be able to network and share that through more of the state than I have already. Just to get the word out about what I'm doing and be able to share my idea and hopefully get people on board. Now, when uh, someone goes to like the Connecticut or the Miss Tolland County website for the pageants, can they reach out to you or a website? Like, how do you gather information and have people connect with you? I have a page on Facebook and Instagram, and I've also been trying to share as many business cards with businesses as possible. I have a QR code that I put on everything I have. I love those. That we can scan, and it brings you to a list of different websites and different ways to support me and my CSI. That is so modern. It took me a while to jump on that QR code bandwagon, but now when I see them, I, I see them more now than ever before because I'm aware of them. Yeah. And I'm constantly scanning them. Even if I, I don't think I know what they're talking about, I'm like, <laughs> oh, well, I've got to do it. You know, they yeah. did a QR code. Let's see what it was. So. It's very, very helpful. So uh, um, you're here today with your mom. Yes. And so it's a really a team effort. And what do you think you would want parents of future pageant people to know? I think it would definitely be to listen to your kids. They're doing this and they want to learn just to be able to listen to them and listen to how they need to be supported because kids need support in different ways and just being able to listen to them and be able to be as helpful and supported through this process as they can. So how did that conversation go when you told your mom? It's like, I know I've been busy with dance, but I really <laughs> want to do this. It definitely was a shocker because just I've never done anything like this before. I didn't grow up in this pageant world. So just to add this level of a different curricular to my schedule was a little crazy, but it's definitely been worth it. Did you do Zoom meetings or are they all in-person trainings? Like how did that work? Um, I've done a few interviews, just practicing, mm -hmm. but that's pretty much it because we're getting very close to the competition now. Yes, it's uh, from the time of filming, it's two weeks away. Yes. And how do you see yourself preparing over the next couple of weeks? I think definitely it's going to be a lot of bag packing as well <laughs> because it's the, we have to spend the whole week there. But I think it's just going to be getting into the mindset of the competition and being able to apply what I've learned the pageant day. And did you have to learn any new skills like makeup application or hair care? Is that part of um, being in the pageant world? I think it definitely is, but I have learned all of that stuff through dance, which I'm very grateful for to have already known. So I will be doing all my hair and my makeup the whole week of competition as well. 
wonderful. And where's that going to be? It's going to be at Mohegan Sun. Oh, okay, okay. That's a fun place. Yes, definitely. Though you'll probably only see your room and the hall. <laughs> yeah. Just and, and, and everything back in and forth. And back and forth. Overpacking is, is a good thing when it comes to, <laughs> she's like, yeah, I already know. <laughs> yeah, put everything in the bag. <laughs> uh, and so when, when your reign is over next year, how do you hand off and do you still participate in events with the pageant world? You can. I, I'm now currently, I'm Miss Tallinn County's teen, but hopefully I will be Miss Connecticut. And then from there, I will go to the Miss America competition. But uh -huh. otherwise, if I win Miss Connecticut and I don't win Miss America, I will have the honor of honoring the next and handing down my title to the next Miss Connecticut's teen. And, and that's how it should be, too. It's like we're passing it along, the information and, and everything. Um, do you get to keep your, your crown? Yes, we do. I get to keep my crown and my sash. Very nice. Do you see? Uh, do you ever wear it at home when nobody's looking? No, it stays. I, I'm trying to keep it very pristine and very nice, so it stays in my box until I have to touch it. Try my to friend it has perfect. Her, is is in a clear box and yes. it's on a satin. Is that what yours is? Yes. I love it. And it has all my cards and my business cards and my autograph cards and pens and whatever I need is in that box. So you're very uh, well supplied, and it does sound like they've given you some good coaching Definitely. on that. What is something you've learned that really surprised you? I think it would definitely be the whole marketing aspect of it and how much and how important it is to connect with local businesses and get that support through other companies and other small businesses. And when you're looking for that support, because we have a lot of business owners that, you know, watch our shows. So what, what is it that small businesses can do to help you or, or pageant, the pageant world in general? I think it's just kind of connected and sharing. I've been able to go to a lot of small businesses and post them and share my experience with them. And it's just kind of a relationship that we've built through a whole bunch of different companies. Very good. Well, it's been great talking to you today. Thank I you. look forward to maybe doing some sort of follow-up and we can talk more about um, the events that you've now done. Because I'd love to hear how dancing in the library goes. <laughs> yes. I, I, I'm not going to be able to attend I, on that particular date, but um, I am aware that the libraries offer a lot of different opportunities to either teach or learn. Yes. So to get on their, that website. So Melanie will have your website or the access um, on the screen for folks. So hopefully they'll be logging in <laughs> hopefully, and checking it out. And with, with that, is there anything um, you want to make sure that you want the public to know about yourself or the pageant in general? I think it's just that there's so much to learn. And if you're ever interested or you have kids or little friends that are interested, that it's a wonderful program that they should definitely get involved in. It, it really is. From, uh, from the outside, looking in and knowing so many people. And it, it's been a great pleasure to meet you. Good luck with everything. Thank you. And hopefully we'll see you for a follow-up. Yes. And I'd like to thank everyone for joining us again for CVC Interviews. If you yourself are interested in learning how to use cameras, working in a TV studio, they offer free lessons here. So reach out to CVC and find out how you too can, don't just watch TV, make it. Thank you again. Bye.